News 2 presents the Southeastern Wildlife Exposition, live from downtown Charleston. Hi everyone and thanks so much for staying with us here for News 2 Midday, a very special edition of News 2 Midday. We are live here at Charleston Place Hotel in downtown Charleston celebrating the first official day of the Southeastern Wildlife Expo. Josh, we've already had a busy morning. We have team coverage today. Full team coverage across downtown <laughs> Charleston. We've got Robin, Sophia down at Brittle Bank Park, Lexi, Megan joining us at Marion Square. And then, of course, we're here at the Charleston Place Hotel. The main art exhibit hall essentially is a way to look at it, but everybody all over the place. It is going to be a really, really fun weekend. You can already tell. The energy's there. Downtown is alive. It's fun to be here today because, like Josh says, we're kicking off the weekend. So we're giving you this preview of what to expect, what you want to make sure is on that must-see list as you get ready to celebrate the kickoff to tourism season in the low country. That's exactly right. And, you know, and that's something, too, that, that I think that, that a, lot of, a lot of folks don't understand about this particular event. Uh, when, when you are in the hospitality business, you know that this is kind of your benchmark. This is what sets the tone for the for the festival season and the tourism season in the Low Country. And and this is just a this is a big deal for the economy. Fifty million dollars hey, to the Low Country number. economy. I mean, that's yeah. a big deal. And a huge part of that, of course, art sales that are happening here at Charleston Place Hotel. We're so excited to introduce you right now to our friend Kyle, who's from Idaho, but been coming to this festival for years and years. Kyle, you have one of your pieces for us right here. You're participating in a lot of events this weekend, so welcome. And tell us a little bit about your work. Um, I paint in a style that is impressionistic, and I paint, subject matter-wise, animals that I raise with my family in North Idaho. So I know these characters personally, and we get to raise them and just enjoy them. Um, and then I get to see their personalities and try to put that on canvas. I love that. Do they have names, the pigs? Uh, we just try to keep numbers to them. Okay, makes we sense. Don't, we don't want to get too attached. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I get it. But this is very beautiful. And Kyle, you're participating in something today that's called Quick Draw or Sculpt, yes. where you're on the clock and people get to actually see your process live. Yes, which is super nerve-wracking because we start from white canvas and then uh, we have an, uh, about an hour, hour and a half at the most to get a finished painting. And so, you you know, it's, it's fun, nerve-wracking, uh, exhilarating, and I wish I could paint that fast in the studio. I'd be more productive, <laughs> but uh, that's, it's, that's awesome. It's fun to watch. Yeah. I mean, this is cool. It is very cool. And, and I, I think, is this the second time we've done this kind of a competition? I think it is. I've been doing is. the show for eight years, and I think I've done six years of quick draws. Okay, okay. So I was thinking this was only two or three now. Hopefully I won't crash and burn. I've got a pretty good <laughs> I think you'll good be track, right? going. Go. Yes, I've got a good run. <laughs> so, Kyle, what time is that happening today if we want to see it? It's at 3 o'clock. Okay. And you can come talk to me and, and pester me, that. and I'll... Sometimes I even give an art lesson while I'm painting because it makes me less nervous if I just talk and paint. And yeah, you're fun. just going through your process. I love it. Well, thank you so much it's for joining time. us. I'm looking forward to seeing you down to the wire oh. in that quick draw competition later today. But Josh, we got to check in. We got Sophia and Rob. They are live for us. A lot of dogs out there yeah. from what I hear. And a lot of wind <laughs> too, right, Rob? Good morning. <laughs> yes, absolutely. A lot of wind. There is yes. a lot of wind. If you're coming down, Bring a windbreaker jacket because we're about to blow away Yeah, out extra here. hairspray today. Not that I need it, but, uh, you know, we're on the banks of the Ashley River, so we've got a beautiful perspective, and uh, is this beautiful. is just part of be being on the water. But, you know, here at Seawee, uh, Sophia, it's all about seeing the sights and sounds, but it's also about how you dress. That's all part of the plan, too. Yes, it is. Well, we got Prescott Hughes here. You're a local low country guy. Tell us a little bit about your company. So I'm here with Hook Performance Fishing. Uh, we were based here in Charleston, South Carolina, founded in 2014. Um, and we sell performance fishing apparel that'll help keep you on the water longer. It's got um, you know, sun protection in there. It's got four way stretch. It's gonna keep you cool, especially in these hot summers that we have here in Charleston, South Carolina. So we're just super happy to be here. And we've been coming to Seawee since 2019. Um, and so, you know, we're just super excited to be here. Show us the shirt. You yeah, got show a little, us the shirt. We got to see the merchandise here. Of what you guys I are do. selling out here. So we are selling our Waypoint collection. What's cool about this collection is it's made out of recycled plastics. Um, so those plastics are woven into a polyester string that's essentially woven into the the yarn on these shirts. Um, they have 50 plus UPF and they have four-way stretch. They're extremely comfortable. It's our most comfortable line that we have 
um, in our company right now. So we are super excited about them. Um, and the line just continues to grow. We have sun protection shirts, we have shorts, we have pants and outerwear as well. So when you started wow. this company, did you ever expect this would happen? And when you're walking around town and you see people wearing your, your merchandise, that's got to make you feel pretty good. It definitely makes us feel pretty good. We, we expected it to happen, but we didn't expect it to happen this fast, which has been very cool. Um, you know, we started out with a small crew of just a handful of people in the office, and now we've grown to, you know, almost 40 employees. Um, so it's been really cool to watch the brand grow and walking down the street and seeing people wear the shirts and the hats. That's and gotta be a cool it's feeling. It's fantastic. Gotta be a cool feeling. I see the hat, looks good on you. Yeah, I, I might it. have to snag one. Uh, yeah. Should we get matching ones, Rob? Let's do it, let's do it. Well, now we're gonna send it over to Marion Square. A lot going on there. Here is Lexi and Megan. Ladies, take it away. Hey guys, we're in the heart of everything, Sealy, right here in the middle of Marion Square. We have something exciting coming up in a few minutes. That's right, on the other side of the break, we have a free friend joining us, and she might even have a trick or two in store. Stay with us, you're watching News 2 Midday.